Alright guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you back to Hermitcraft, and yeah, I thought I would do a shorter style episode, uh, just basically an update on the Wither Skeleton farm, and uh, oh yeah, well I've been doing a lot of lava covering over there, you can see there's a sort of lava mountain, <laughs> get a good view from here. And yeah, still need to do more work up there. Uh, I'm going to be pouring lava up there. That platform up there. And if we look around using F3, so there's a couple mobs over there. There's the uh, ghast. And uh, over there, there isn't really anything. Oh, there's three now. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Can't really see them. They must be on that ledge somewhere. And down here, that's a big problem, there's six mobs. So there's obviously a cave down there. And uh, I'm going to have to go under the lava and take care of that. Uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty annoying. <laughs> but I've been spending a lot of time on this wither skeleton farm, which has just spawned a single pigman. Thank you very much. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, basically I went through a few different designs which I built and tore down and um, I just realized that my ideas didn't have enough spawning spaces like it was only two strips per level which were one wide right two one wide strips uh, so sort of like like this strip there strip there and then the pistons on the side and stuff and then that was it per level so there there just wasn't enough room for everything to spawn or anything to spawn oh so the next one would be up there another strip another strip there yeah so i don't know i mean when i first tried it got it all done there was a bunch of mobs that spawned and then after that pretty much nothing spawned and yeah, I just stayed here for ages waiting for them to spawn and you know, stuff just isn't wasn't spawning And as you can hear outside, there's lots of pigmen or <laughs> pigmen <laughs> uh, Ghasts out there, but that seems to be Most of, of what I'm seeing Which isn't what I want. Okay, I'm just trying to make a shovel here as well to get rid of this dirt and so what I did was I pulled it all down and I made the design I'm about to show you as soon as I get this shovel done and what that is it's a shaker design because uh, where we are here it's on part of another fortress but it's only five wide uh, because this area was the easiest to uh, eliminate all the other spawning spaces around which I obviously haven't done enough of still even though I spent absolutely hours doing it um, yeah, so it's only five wide here, and I was thinking of the ways I could maximize the amount of spawning space, and really, the only way was to put in a full pad, like that pigman is on, and the only way to really get them off that, in the nether at least, is to shake it back and forth. So, uh, I think this is a design Suzuma came up with. And the way it works is you can see there's pistons along the edge and they push the floor back and forwards. So they shake it back and forwards and the mobs which are standing there go through. And then, oh, I, whew, luckily there's no uh, wither skeletons in here at the moment. Otherwise I would be a dead duck again. <laughs> or blazes, oh god, blazes are the worst. They've got me uh, several times today. But yeah, everything gets funneled down into the middle. So those sticky pistons have a block of glass in front of them. And by the way, I am now using a texture pack. Yeah, it's just clear glass, but I will put a link in the description. And yeah, it's much nicer. You can see through everywhere. So that is good. But yeah, these lower two rows of pistons, they're just there to funnel everything down into the middle here 
where they'll get picked up by the cart. And currently the cart is, isn't really do anything, doing anything. It's just bringing them over to the end here where it suffocates them under these uh, netherrack blocks. Although it takes about three or four passes to actually kill the mobs. But there's so few in here that it doesn't really matter. For now, you know, all the cart stuff will be much quicker when it's all done. But it's so hard to test because there's nothing spawning in here. And I hate doing it in creative mode because it's not really representative of the real... The wheel. The real world. Real world testing is where it's at. You know, because you find out if it actually works. Well, for me anyways. But give that a shake and you'll see... Big man falls through. And that's what we want. So, the pig man... Oh, it seems to be running... Okay, it's continuously running now. So I can show you what's going on. Uh, in the middle here, just have the pistons funneling the pig man into the center. You can see he got picked up by the cart. And then he would be taken off into the uh, wither skeleton detector. And if he was not a wither skeleton, which he isn't, then he would be killed. And the wither skeletons, I want to keep track of them and hold on to them. But yeah, um, this is how it's going to be. I'm not sure of any of the timings, how quickly this stuff has to go back and forth. Uh, the lower part is a different section, the, the funnel part. Um, but yeah. There's nothing else to do except for to finish this, to do the next two levels of the shaker part. And hope that mobs actually start to spawn in it. It's, I don't know, it's just really hard to test when there's nothing there. I know the rest of the system works, all the- Oh, something spawned! Oh, yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Because I've never seen one spawn on here actually while it's shaking. And that's a uh, blaze and he'll be coming through here. Oh, he just went by, but he'll come again. And he got picked up by the cart too. Of course, I'm going to have tons of carts going along this line, not just one. Um, I was experimenting with different ways of having uh, the mobs get collected. And what I came back to was uh, having them just in one single line and the cart going around like I was trying to have multiple cart lines to speed things up but I realized that it would just make everything really complicated and I'd need multiple detectors and that kind of thing and it just adds up to uh, to more lag basically although as you can tell it's pretty laggy as it is so that's one of the reasons I didn't really want more this lag is enough, especially with two more whoop, two more levels of those shakers, because those are going to be those are going to be lagging it. So yeah, I mean that's that's it really. It's just an update on this. I think I'll go back to the base quickly and show you what I've been doing there, because I have been doing some things, uh, but I'm not really going to talk about them in detail now, because I've recorded th this episode three times already today. And it's already, each one ends up at like 40 minutes, and uh, I just don't want to put out episodes that long anymore. I'd rather do more frequent, uh, shorter ones. Let's see how many mobs are below my feet. Five, six. Yeah, there's just a big cave down there. Down there, I've got to get it. Got to get all my fire resistance and just go diving and digging and, oh, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> So, yeah, it's going to take me a while to finish this, and, uh, yep, that's pretty much it, really. I don't know how efficient this design is. You see, I've left the uh, glass open here, so hopefully that should be extra air blocks, which will increase the pack spawning possibilities. Like here, you can see there's glass at that level which might be diminishing the possibilities of spawns on that side. Um, but on this side I don't have it. 
And eventually, when this is all working, I can pretty much get rid of the walls here. Oh no, I can't. I still need to hold them in where the shaker is. <laughs> we get rid of all the walls, they'll just fly away. Well, the stupid blazes will anyways. So yeah, that's it. I've just been busting my nut trying to get this working, and the testing is proving really annoying. But, uh, yeah. Just thought you'd want an update at least. Okay, I can turn all this off. And that redstone dust is... Oh, I was gonna leave it, but I can't leave it. Can't leave a redstone. That's like leaving... I don't know. Valuable stuff. But I've got to take care of it. <laughs> Anyways, I've had enough of this place for now. We'll just quickly go to the base. I'll show you what I've been doing. And you can tell me uh, what you want to see next episode. I think there's just a couple things I forgot to mention, actually, uh, while I was here. On this side, the roof is different because that is an upper half block and that is a lower one. Uh, just preventing anything from spawning on there. Because I want to see if the wither skeletons will spawn in a two and a half block high area. And that will just mean I can make it a little bit uh, more compact. Uh, instead of having to have a three high area. Because then I'd have to move these pistons up an extra block or the next row. And yeah, I mean the, the plan is I'll have all the timing stuff down below somewhere, maybe back here. And then the mobs that fall down, they'll come down here. I'll probably split this into two sections. So I'll have two wither skeleton detectors. Maybe one at either end. Actually, I'll probably bring the carts around here and have the detectors maybe on this side so you can actually see them while you're AFKing. Or standing there, at least. And then all the other mobs will... Uh, that don't get detected as a wither skeleton will get killed somewhere along here, maybe just along here. They'll go back and forth on top of all the hoppers and suffocate and then their items will fall onto the hoppers. And the magma cubes will go into the little, um, what's it called? Magma cube d detector and then they'll get uh, killed in a, um, a cactus. I think that's how I figured it out. So all the rest of it's working. I just need spawns. Now, I don't know, maybe I built this in the wrong place. Maybe I should have done it in one of the full-sized uh, 17 by 30 whatever pads I have. Although that would just be a nightmare to get them all into cart lines. So, anyways. Okay, to the base. Enough of this for now. All right. So it appears we come out of the portal backwards. That's pretty annoying. I wish we came out the other way. <laughs> Anyways, here we are, and I'll try and talk continuously, because I've been editing the episode, and I realized that the, uh, it's, what's it called? A noise gate, which cuts out all my breathing and stuff, makes it sound very unnatural. And here, there's no music. God, I hate that Minecraft has such limited sounds. It needs, like, you know... Constant explosions in the background. <laughs> That's one of the nice things about Half-Life, is all the music in the background. Uh, but anyways, here I'm going to be building a tower. Or I could do. And, uh, yeah, that'll cover up the beams partially. A mage tower, I think it's called. You know, some sort of fancy tower. And what else have I been doing around here? Oh, eggs are full. Hmm, I guess I'll have to egg someone. <laughs> uh, yeah, eggs. Anyways, come down the spiral staircase here. And, da -da, I now have a furnace room. And it is in action, too. And uh, I'm going to do this as a tutorial, or I could talk about it next episode. But essentially, you have a cart at the back where you put in your coal. One at the top where you put in your items. It goes back and forth and distributes everything. And actually, we can uh, we can do a bit of that, I think. Uh, let's see, I should have some coal. Coal. Three coal, that's not enough. Oh, I just came through my 3x3 door. So, 
I spent a long time working on this as well. Did about five or six variations. And I wanted to do one where it opens, you know, in a sort of spiral shape. But on the server here, it's just so laggy for me that it didn't look like a spiral. It looked like a chunk here, and then everything else would suddenly open. So it wasn't smooth like I wanted it to be. But I'll just quickly show you the wiring for this anyways, because it's quite simple. Um, I wanted a button in each corner. And I'll probably add some pressure plates back here as well. So that when I run down the stairs, it opens the door too. Because I now have uh, speed two, so I can. Um, yeah, so I am absolutely bombing it down here. Bombing it down. Yeah. So I want the door to open uh, automatically. Automatically. That's one thing I have uh, trouble with in Minecraft is speaking constantly in these videos. Uh, I'm not good at speaking. I always mess up my words a lot. I thought it would get better after two years of making videos, but it really hasn't. So that sucks donkey balls, basically. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, you hit the button there. Piston goes down. Same in each corner. It will go above this redstone torch, which will light up this line here. And the line goes across and mirrors on the other side. You can see you've got the two torches there block in the middle with the redstone dust, and here I have two torches with the block in the middle with the redstone dust, and the dust is going into a block there with the torch on it, and above that there's another block with redstone on it, so that does this this whole wall. There's pistons there, one behind that block and one behind that block, and so that's how the two walls work. Uh, let's see if I can show you. So, yeah, torch there, lock above with redstone dust, and then the pistons are one, two, three. And so when it gets power... Uh, oh, no, that was a bad example. Can't see. When it gets power, it turns on this dust here. And then the only different bits are the top and the bottom. So for the bottom, I have the dust coming down here has to come down one to avoid the torch there. And then that goes into this torch here, which is right next to the piston. So that's how the bottom's done. This block here prevents the redstone here from joining, otherwise it wouldn't aim into the, uh, the uh, block there with the torch on it. And then above... God, it's so hard to get around here. <laughs> above... Uh, it goes up a little half block, what's it called? Elevator? I don't know. But that dust is connected to that one, which is connected to... Oop, thought I could jump up there. Apparently I'm not skilled enough for that. But yeah, the line comes straight up here and across into this piston directly. So end result is everything is synchronized, it happens uh, I guess two ticks after you hit the button. So the piston goes down, turns on the torch, uh, connects to the torch, which turns on the redstone, which turns on the other torch, which activates uh, everything else. So it's all right. You just need to cover it all up, that kind of thing. But yeah, um, done some other stuff, uh, just building paths. Uh, connecting stuff along where the arch is there. So I'll just go up here. It's probably the easiest way to get up. And go down this vine. And you can see I've, you know, just added a bit more of the path here connected to the bridge. I've got this sort of pad here. I think what I'm going to do is have the, or have an iron golem farm in the top half of this cube. And then maybe the iron golems that come out could go down a, uh, I don't know, a thing here and fall down here, somewhere around here. Because I built this tower under here, but it's not actually doing anything at the moment. It's just empty, big empty hole. So I could actually use that for something. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, but... Uh, 
don't have too much to show for it. I did try and do videos during the week. They just didn't work doing the uh, 3x3 door because I've rebuilt it so many times. Same with this furnace room. And that's what I'll show you last. And then just let me know what you want to see next episode and I'll do that. I mean, there's lots of possibilities. We could work on the wood farm. We could work on the... Uh, what else could we work on? Am I going to get 16? Yeah, 16. Perfect. So I'll do two stacks. Wood farm. I could show you the 3x3 three three door in more detail. I could just continue work on the wither farm. I could do the potion rooms. Oh, man. Someone sent me a sweet design for the automatic potion room. And, uh, yeah, that's something I'd like to do. Oh, I need to do it. Uh, so I could build those. And let's see. Okay, these are all full for now, so I'll have to get these out. I like to get it out by hand so you get the XP. So I probably won't have a collection system, an automatic one. Let's see, I'll just pull these out though. And I'll show you how this works. So hit the button, it starts going back and forwards. And the carts will continue doing so until they're empty, at which point but they end up back in the middle. And that's why I had the little tutorial the other day for the empty cart detection. Because only once this cart is empty will it uh, sit itself back in the middle. And that happens when there's two pistons there and there which extend, locking it onto this hump thing. And that should happen soon for this one. There we go, and it's locked, and everything is uh, distributed evenly. So there's 16 stone in there, and they've got two coal. Same with that, 12 and 4, 16. Burnt one coal, there's one there. As long as you're doing multiples of eight, distributes it perfectly. Uh, but it's a total nightmare of a mess in here to actually show you what's happening. So I'll do that some other time. Soon! I want to make more episodes, so that's just... Ugh, I don't... yeah. <laughs> I keep on trying to do like I used to do episodes when I had lots of time. And that is not what I have anymore, I just don't have lots of time. I see getting, getting more eggs in there too. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta do this sort of uh, more live stuff. But anyways, let me know what you want to know, or let me see. Do you want to see automatic potion rooms? Do you want to understand how my furnace cart thing works? Do you want me to build the mage tower? Do you want me to work on the wither skeleton farm? Whatever. Just uh, let me know in the comments or PM or anything like that. But yeah, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And take care. I'll just snack on my zombie meat. Bye-bye. <laughs>